in the previous video I sent, I spoke about signs and shapes in figurative painting, and I said that shapes, because they're actually clearly delimited colored surfaces, implied a greater power of abstraction. That leads me to my second point, abstract painting. Focusing on representation in painting actually tends to conceal very important aspects. Some people say that painting today has become more presentational than representational. I don't think that it is very important to blame words, but the fact that some other form of reality can be presented in painting can actually open doors to a better understanding. As a matter of fact, I'm convinced that signs and shapes do not refer to objects in reality, but to objects that construct the painter's reality. On some other occasions, what I mean here has been referred to as transfiguration or co-reality. And Mark Rothko also spoke about it in his book called The Artist Reality, and the title is very telling. There again, I don't think it is worth playing on words. What is important is to understand the painter's experience that lies behind all that. As a painter, I'm convinced that what a painting points at is not what is commonly termed reality, but how the physical world acts upon the painter and how the painter acts upon the physical world and the core element in that process being the matter of painting. What comes out of it is another reality and the links between the physical world and the painting are usually religious, metaphysical, philosophical or spiritual ones and the matter is not to know or be able to decipher what this particular sign or shape refers to in the physical world. The fact that the onlooker can recognize signs or shapes in a painting is actually very deceitful and the true understanding of painting can be hindered by the external relation the onlooker desperately seeks for. Kandinsky himself said that one shouldn't seek for an external relation to the various parts on the canvas to understand its meaning. On the other hand, the painter's reality can't really be rooted in concepts. When I said that painting is linked to the physical world by metaphysical, philosophical, religious or spiritual ties, I was actually speaking about the painter's experience, that is how the painter sees, feels and expresses it on the canvas. The painter's reality is constructed through the senses and that's how the onlooker should experience painting as well. As a conclusion, I can say that at one level of understanding, a sign is a pictorial element consisting of lines, dots and curves, and a shape is a clearly delimited coloured surface. But after a while such definitions sound less satisfactory because signs and shapes constantly interplay and the limits between these two elements tend to get blurred. And the pictorial element that makes things more complicated is colour in fact. For me, all the pictorial elements combined together in painting are signs because they can be talked about separately and also because they are units of meaning referring to what's going on with the canvas only. A work of art, any work of art, is abstract and the object that is produced when all these pictorial elements are combined together testifies to the painter's reality. Words do not belong to the field of painting. They belong to literature, philosophy, history, art criticism. Because painting is language but a language beyond language.